little context for this video is that I live in Canada, which basically means whenever something new gets released, I don't see it for a while. But today I have my hands on a new Tech Deck product, which probably isn't too new anymore. I've been looking for this set for a minute. So this is the Tech Deck 25th anniversary pack, and there's some pretty interesting things in here. Over the past probably three or four years, I've seen Tech Deck start to kind of shift their products more towards like actual fingerboard products, which is really cool to see. When I first saw this set, it actually just reminded me of like Tech Deck sets from like 2012. A few of the boards in this set are quite a bit different from what we've seen Tech Deck make recently, which is kind of cool to see. Let's open this up and see the boards in their full form. Something else I noticed about this set is there's a couple boards that I actually haven't even seen available to buy from Tech Deck for like probably about eight years. I honestly can't even say I've seen this shape of Tech Deck before. It's kind of like a coffin shaped deck and this has like a pretty nice look. It definitely takes some getting used to, just feels like you kind of don't know how to kick it, but once you figure it out, it's kind of nice. These two boards are pretty much the basic ones that you're still able to buy pretty much everywhere. I think right now, this is probably the most popular tech deck and kind of just the most common one you can find everywhere. Something I do notice is it's completely round on the concave. I honestly didn't even know tech deck made a deck that was like completely round on the concave. I actually bet if you put some like good parts on this board, it could probably feel pretty nice. These boards here are the ones I've been looking for. We also have whatever this piece is. I am disappointed in this piece. I thought this piece was gonna be metal, but this is just like reflective plastic. This board is similar to this one, but kind of just with like a different shape. These are so similar, but there's like a small little difference about them. This board is just a little bit kind of rounder everywhere. And this one has like a little bit more edge to it. The Santa Cruz graphic on this board does have a really nice look. I've been looking for this board for a very long time. This is like a tech deck long board, but just kind of shorter. Look at the wheels on this thing though. This is the size of a normal tech deck wheel and look at the size of these. I really wanna just take these off and put bearings inside just to see what they feel like because the shape is honestly really good. I think it'd be really cool to see these boards as like a bigger version, just like more of like a long board scale. Because right now the scale of these boards are kind of like a penny board, which I think these would be so much cooler if they were like a long board. I think in order to see if these boards are actually good, we should probably kickflip test them. The first board already passed, so we're gonna move on to this one. It failed. The G16 board is too powerful and now I just can't kick flip anything else. There we go. Second try. These are the boards that are gonna be pretty tricky to kick flip because there is like no nose to actually kick anything. I'm still gonna give it a try because we gotta get it. This might actually be difficult. There we go. I got the kickflip way faster than I was expecting on this one. I didn't even know if I was gonna get it. This one is gonna be so much harder. The nose almost goes down. At least on this one, there is like a little bit of a nose, but it's so small to kick. I do have to get the kickflip before we can look at the other board. That was not a kickflip, but that was close. That was really close. That was like a very real kickflip. That was so close. Dude, there we go. Basically first try. This board is one of the strangest boards I've ever seen. The shape is just strange. This is just like a normal deck shape, but this is just like a narrow deck that has like the same shape. It's not even like the same shape though. It's just like a kind of a weird shape. You can also see the wheels just over the deck so well. The wheels should just be like barely hidden beside the edge of the deck and you can just fully see them above the board. This board is one of like the 29 or 30 millimeter boards that you can still pretty much buy everywhere. When you look at this board in the light, you can see it has like the flat spots to it. I've never really been like a huge fan of like the flat spots on the board. I feel like it kind of just messes up your pop sometimes. A pop shove it is pretty much like the only trick you can do on this board. I feel like this collection is more of like something you would buy to actually just like hold on to and not even like use the board. Because you can't even buy these boards just like by themselves, which makes it kind of have like a nice collector's feel. Out of all of these boards, I'm almost like the most interested in this one. This is like one of the oldest tech decks that you were able to buy. This board brings back like a lot of memories. Back in the day, this was pretty much like the only tech deck that existed. I still have a couple of these boards sitting on like a shelf somewhere from like 2010. They even have like the little indent in the board where the grip tape sits. Back in the day, I also had no idea that like you could actually do like fingerboard tricks on a fingerboard. That was back when you fingerboarded like this and just see what trick it does and try and land on it. Overall, 
this collection is sick. Most of the time when you see a product that's like an anniversary edition product, I feel like it kind of has nothing to do with like the history of that product. But with this set, you can actually see like the evolution of like all the products throughout the years. But overall, these boards are actually really cool. I don't know for sure, but I don't think this set is going to be available forever. So definitely go buy one of these sets while you can. Shout out to Tech Tech for making this set. And also they're just now available in Canada, I guess. The town I live by is pretty small though. So there is just a chance these just got here now because it's just that small. Either way, I thought I'd make a video about these boards because I've been looking for them for a while. Leave a comment for what you guys think about these boards and I appreciate everybody watching this video and I'll see you all next time.